Hi, I'm Dalton Quigley, owner of Quigley's Landscaping and the Nashville Landscaping YouTube channel. This video is going to be posted to my youtube.com slash Dalton Quigley channel. I've been doing landscaping and outdoor projects for 20 years. I do loads of uh, outdoor designs, drainage consultations. Um, I help people with design, use of the space, hardscapes, basically everything. And today I'm making a video about the top three things that a new landscaper needs to know getting in this business. First thing you want to know, let me tell you, I started off mowing lawns. In the beginning, you know, I was going to college and I needed to support my young family, so I started mowing yards. While I had those clients, I wanted to be able to make more money with those clients while also helping them with their needs. So I began to educate myself on turf grasses, which that was the main thing I was dealing with was the grass. And down there in New Orleans, where I'm from, there's a lot of Centipede and St. Augustine. There's also Bermuda. Those are the more common grasses. And um, the way you put those down are by plugs or... You know, you take the sod and you can even break it up and it'll spread. It's a very lateral growing grass, all three of those. Well, anyway, I needed to learn about, you know, their different growth habits. So I bought a book that taught me insects, funguses, diseases. Um, I was able to go back to my clients and say, oh, the reason the grass is dying over here is because of chinch bugs. And here's what you know I would charge to take care of that I'll charge a hundred bucks I'll treat it we'll get rid of it your grass will grow back in and it'll be fantastic well so I did the same thing when it came to other areas of the business I started trimming bushes and in New Orleans everything grows so fast so you trim a lot of times a year you know typical holly bushes and things can be trimmed anywhere between three and five times in a typical growing season so uh, just to maintain the normal size so I would, um, I got a book about, you know, pruning techniques and trimming. And I also got a book about, you know, common diseases that shrubs would have. And I learned all about that and I was able to offer those services. So I, I took one group of clients and I was able to do even more services for them. And I started doing annual color. You know, we put out the pansies and petunias, snapdragons and stuff like that. And, um, began to figure out, you know, how those go in pleasing designs. I bought books for my area, which was the New Orleans area at the time. Now I'm in Nashville, Tennessee. But I bought books about um, what is coming into bloom at different times of year, um, you know, what type of sunlight versus shade, problems that you would have with different plants, how to do a tearing effect with plants, um, you know, pleasing shapes for the designs and everything and I was able to take those existing clients and make even more money with them and the new clients when I met them and I would be touring the property and talking with them about what they wanted I could say well would you like weed pulling okay so then I would add a certain amount for every visit for weed pulling I would figure how long it took to trim the bushes and I would multiply that times three or four or five times whatever it was that they wanted and I would add that in and they would pay a flat amount per month and then every time I got a new customer those every single customer had one or two or three or four different things they added eventually I was making great money off of each client with all the services I was providing so um, then after that I built a nice big business Hurricane Katrina came along destroyed everything and we moved to Nashville when I decided to start in Nashville, I wanted to do more projects and less maintenance. So we started doing patios, walkways, walls, arbors, um, and designing spaces, and that's what I do today. So today I want to talk to you about um, three things that I think that a new landscaper, a new person in this in the outdoor landscape, hardscape, maintenance industry needs to know. One is you need to be educating yourself. Look at wherever you are. If all you do is mow, then get a book on the grasses that you're dealing with. If what you do is landscaping and you're doing planting, then get a book on common planting techniques. Learn exactly how big the planting hole should be, what you do to amend the soil, you know, 
what equipment do you use to move the plant from one location to another can be very important. Everything about the entire process and th it deserves the education. Go out, buy the books that you need, read five or ten minutes a day if that's all you can do because you're busy. Those five or ten minutes are going to make you money all year round again and again and again. So educating yourself is super, super important. Another thing, number two, the second thing I think that you need to be focusing on are your tools. You get a few clients, you buy a trimmer, you buy a hedge trimmer, a mower, or anything. Save your money and buy the one that's slightly better. Buy the commercial version. The commercial versions are going to have parts that you can replace again and again. You can retire old ones and use parts from those so that, um, so that you're you know, you're getting your full investment out of your equipment. You know, if you're going to get a hand snipper, don't buy the $5 one. Buy the really nice one that's going to last you. You don't have time to constantly stop and run to the store and buy things. You want to be spending your time taking care of clients and making money. So buy the better tool that's going to pay you for many years. The last thing, number three, is your marketing. So you're going to need to be very aggressive. If the only thing you have to start off with are flyers, then put out flyers and be very aggressive about it. Take every penny that you can spare towards your marketing and get, you know, get busy putting your flyers out. You want a company name, they need to have some sort of tagline. A tagline is a sentence about what your business is about. Um, phone number and um, you know, a list of different services, just any kind of way they can get in contact with you. In today's world, you can have a free Google listing. Um, that is invaluable. That can get you a ton of business, especially if there's an address on it. You want to upload pictures. You want to be taking pictures of your jobs. In today's world, making money in the outdoor industries is not just um, not just putting a message out there, but it's actually being a part of that message. People want to get to know you. They want to get to know your work. They want to know your reputation. Are you honest? Um, and these things you can show by reviews. And if you've got that free Google Plus listing, a free Google Places listing, people can leave you a review. So you have a customer. You've done work for them. Encourage them to leave you a review. Those reviews are going to help you climb in the listings. Somebody will do a search and they'll say, you know, landscaping, Huntsville, Alabama. There'll be an alphabetical listing there and you'll be right in there. It doesn't cost you anything. The more reviews you have, that's one of the factors that lifts you up in that and makes you near the top where more people will be calling you. So anyway, great. The three things I wanted to let you know about today were education, wherever you're at in the industry, educate yourself so that you can move forward making more money with your client, with your existing clients and getting new clients and you'll seem a lot more knowledgeable, which is going to make a lot more people go with you. Um, number two are the tools. Use the better tools. You know, if the, if the string is really, really cheap for your trimmer, chances are it's going to, it's going to be going really fast and you'll have to buy it again. The better equipment and the better supplies tend to last you way longer and make you more money. And the last thing is your marketing. You want to be really, really aggressive. Look, if you need to ask me any questions about the things that I talked about, um, go down below. If this is on a YouTube video, send me a message and ask the question, and um, I'll be happy to answer lots of different questions. Great. I'm Dalton Quigley. Uh, Subscribe to my channel down below. I think the subscribe button is here or it's over here. And give me a thumbs up if you like what I was talking about. And share me with your friends. You know somebody else in this industry? Share me with them. And um, maybe one day I'll do a live hangout with you and them and we can talk about different industry stuff. Great. Thank you for seeing my video. Have a great day and bye.